an experiential Judaism, not an intellectual Judaism. Judaism has come down as an intellectual pursuit, an analysis of Torah, Talmud, Mishnah, intellectually, but not experientially. The whole concept of meditation has been lost. It's been put on a back burner by the intellectual and intellectualization of the religion itself. It wasn't always like that. I'm not an expert in the readings of the background of thousands of years and the history, but apparently there was a meditative Judaism. And the meditative Judaism may have been a little bit too much like the other religions, the other meditative religions, like, you know, the Indian pursuits and the Muslim pursuits. And so rather than, you know, melting with these other religions, Judaism became intellectual and, 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 and analytical and lost sense of the body and the meditative aspects of the different levels of the consciousness above that of normative daily consciousness. And so here we are. How does one get through this? You don't when there's a, when there's a synagogues around, but only in a lockdown. Can one become isolated? The beautiful word of isolation is hit bodedot. One would hit bodedot go out to the fields, be alone, alone, isolated, and meditate. In a certain sense, it's brought down that the Amida, the 18 blessings, is this meditation. And in the old days, they used to spend an hour on the Amida. The prayer used to be called the Amida, just the prayer. They used to spend an hour in meditating before, then doing the Amida, and then meditating again. But the hour with the Amida, a short prayer that takes like 10 minutes. And this was in meditation. And strangely enough, this coronavirus, this COVID-19, has caused an isolation of the people. What I've been complaining about, that there's no synagogues, then I'm left alone. Yes, I'm left alone, isolated. Beautiful, I'm meditating. It shows me that I don't need the group. You know, they always tell you that there are 10, you know, Sapphira and 10 people in the Minion. And people actually say that's two hands. But strangely enough, it's now come across my table, that there are nine positions in the hands, each one. That there's the fingers and then the spaces between the fingers. So there are four spaces between the fingers and the five fingers, that's nine. And if you add that to the other nine, uh, other hand, you have 18. Those, that's the 18 blessings of the Amida, which are really 19 because there's one for all. And 19 represents COVID-19. COVID, like COVID. You know, Anna. As I've said before, I think that COVID-19 has to do with Hava, which is also 19. But it's the whole idea of isolation. And we're in all in an isolated state right now. So instead of being 10, there's really, there are 10 members, but there's really 18 blessings, there's 19 blessings, and that's COVID-19. And these worlds that you're opening into when you meditate, you can meditate on the letters or breathe or 
there's 10,000 different methodologies of meditation and quite frankly it's brought down in many religious and non-religious systems. I just read a whole thing about everything comes through the hands, which is no different than using the Talmud and, and that the Yad is equivalent to the Dalad Amos. And the bell hand of, of, of Feldenkrais. We've been kept from it by a societal. And now that there's no societal, we're able to see it. We're isolated. Hit bodadot. Isolated like I'm a Nazi or isolated. And that's why it's frowned upon. By the society. But things are changing then because the pent up within. So I'm what I'm doing is an embodiment Judaism, a, 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 a experiential Judaism. And there are levels that you can't even imagine. Energetic levels from that Hara point, from the from the high point, which is also 18. And the two hands can go over that because those are the two nines. And so this is an awakening to do, to do whatever breathing you want. Keep in mind whatever you want because you're going to get out of daily consciousness. Meditation actually is a methodology to get out of your daily consciousness. And once you're out of this daily consciousness, you will receive. This is the Markava meditation and the whole thing of Bereshis. Silence. can I say? It's been kept from us for thousands of years, a thousand years, actually. And that we didn't memorize the Talmudic phrases and passages. Didn't know all 39 labors, Shabbos labors. You have schooling of the intellect, when everything comes within you. Close your eyes, go inside, breathe through your nose. See these points of energy in the palms. That's besides the points of energy at the bottom of the feet and theoretically on the top of the head, which I equate with the penis. See how See how you open up to a new concept of, of Judaism. New concept of esoterics. That's really an old concept of the original Hasidim. See what happens.